Hi guys, what's up? My name's Kata Does It and welcome or welcome back to another video. So today is Monday and I'm here to start uh, yet another reading vlog. I feel like it has been a little while since I've done a reading vlog that is not themed. So just a simple reading vlog, just a mindset. Yes, it is an ambitious pile, but I have like nine other books right here. And if you want to see more about my reading plans for me, you can watch my May TBR, which is going to be linked up here so yeah we have five books i don't think i'm gonna be able to finish them all but i do like would like to get a head start on them the first one is the complete poetry of my angelo i have started this almost a week ago and i just didn't continue it's just almost like three it's like actually more than 300 pages it has literally all of her poems that she ever wrote <laughs> and i read only up until page 48 and i'm super freaking excited to read this and get into her prose later on now this three books i actually have to read for admission exams because senior year senior year thing so we have this book of poetry that i think i have already mentioned i started reading it a couple of weeks ago and i just stopped at page 65 and i never finished it which is a shame because i was kind of kind, kind just a little bit enjoying it out of like it's a miracle when you enjoy at least one of the books that, you, that are required for you to read so i guess it was it was being a win and it has i think it's just the cover this year my friends lent it to me they're also brazilian classics at least i think so this one is 320 something pages i'm not exactly excited to read but that let's just go this one i was expecting the book to be so much longer but it's not it's like a hundred and something pages and it has like look at it. it it's white pages which i hate but look how big the font is and then last but not least we have the squirts on colonialism which i am determined to finish asap so this is our tbr for this week i hope you guys really enjoyed today's video if it did make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and let's get into it <laughs> So today is Wednesday. I skipped school today because I did not sleep. Yesterday I started to see We Became by N.K. Jemison and I'm not really enjoying it. I'm only 17 pages into it, but no, I'm 19 pages into it, but there's nothing that I'm really enjoying about it. I'm not really liking the narrative style or the, the writing style anyways. I'm just not really enjoying it. New York. It's, it's set in New York and like everywhere cities have like they have souls apparently there's something going on that is not very healthy for the city and this boy has to save New York to in order to save it from a like darker side of it I don't really get the plot, the plot either I'm not really enjoying it there are five heroes there are five main characters we're only in the first one yet but i'm not really enjoying it so i'm really thinking of just dnfing it and going back into my angelo's poetry which i am really enjoying because like this book has been too boring to me i'm, I'm really sorry i don't think it's for me maybe the the broken earth series is more something that i will enjoy more but i'm just not really enjoying the beginning of it and it might get better i feel like it it does get better afterwards but i'm not really in that mood to go to through so much just so i can get into a perhaps nicely written um middle so and now i guess i'm gonna go back to my angelo <laughs> I decided to pick up I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter by Erika Sanchez because I decided to leave my TBR on my book card, which is next to my desk, because I was like, this may be going to help me reach my goals faster. I read about 30 pages of this book and I'm actually really enjoying it. I reached page 100 
right now she went to a party a couple of things happened i really don't know what to say about this book like i'm kind i'm enjoying it but i really have no idea what i'm going to be rating it and i am just going with the flow and seeing what i'm going to be thinking about it once i finish so yes there's that and yeah i've just been studying and resting and studying and resting <laughs> for the past like two hours so I'm not really enjoying it. I mean, I do like reading poetry, but yeah, it's better than the other ones. You know, there's not a lot I can complain about. So. But yeah, I'm currently reading it and tomorrow I have um, an assignment on it. Not specifically on the whole book, but just on a couple of aspects about it. So I decided to grab one of my books, um, my unread nonfiction books, because this one goes on and on about the history of Brazilian literature. I also did not really read this book, I really want to read it as a, the entirety of it, but it's just ginormous and I'm too lazy to, re to pick it up um, and read it. This is actually studying for me to be done, to get done, so it's not really like reading for fun. I guess what I'm reading for fun right now at the moment is I'm not your perfect Mexican daughter, which yesterday I reached page 114. And today I guess I want to get into page 150. Um, or maybe more. Who knows? I mean, it is Spanish, which I'm struggling a little bit to read, as I have mentioned before, I guess. But it's usually like just specific words I can actually get the understanding of, of the meaning of most of what is being said. But now I'm going to rest for a little bit. And I'll come back to you later. Her mother just told her that her sister being dead is her fault, essentially. Like, what she's like, you know, if you if you would behave, if you um kept quiet, your sister might still be alive. You know, I'm just like, um, she just has a she just had a continued up, even though she's like about to turn sixteen. Because um, when her dead sister was 15, her parents could not afford a quinceanera, so they're now doing it for her. And an aunt, oh, she said something to her. She was like, why are you acting like that? Like, why are you so sad? It's almost like your sister just died. And then she just naps um, and her parents are like, you're such a bad person, you know? We prefer your sister, and I'm like, okay, okay. This is getting a little bit too much, you know? We all know about the Latino strict families. We all have one, but like, this is a little bit too much, you know? This is straight up emotional abuse. And I also really want churros. I am actually making some right now because I am real need of churros, like I never did it before. So I'm gonna eat my mini churros, and I think I'm gonna go back to studying, and I'll see you later.
I'm gonna give you some last minute reading updates because why not? Yo no soy tu perfecta hija mexicana. I reached page 152. And at the same time that I feel like there is a lot happening, I feel like there is absolutely nothing that is happening. And it feels like we're never getting like a sense of achievement. You know, she's supposed to be researching about her sister, but it feels like a lot of things happen and she still knows nothing like there are 120 pages for the book to end so we're past halfway through and it feels like she's still at step one but she's met more people and she's talked to more people and they were able to give no information to her she just met this boy named connor which she's just like starstruck by and i was like no she's not starstruck she is what is the word head of her heels over him and i'm like girl what and I'm definitely interested to see where this is going to go. I think that he is going to be one of the main clues about her sister. But I'm not sure because like a lot of has time and pages have passed. And not a quite a lot of things have happened. So I'm definitely interested to see what, where the end of the book is going to take us. As for our dear Marita, did you so I reached page 156. Um, I tried to read a little bit yesterday at night, but I was super tired. And I did not study because, again, I was super tired. Um, so I did not manage to read a lot, but I'm, I still have just a little bit over to parse 3. Like, I only have this. And then I also have par 3 to read. As I said before, it's not that I'm like super loving this book, but it's definitely better than other books that I had to read for school, so. He is a little bit of an insult. A huge lot of an insult, actually. He's falling for a 16 year old, like, bro. My dude. But I'm choosing to live in ignorance because otherwise I'm gonna be like, I hate this book and I'm gonna throw it across the room, so I don't wanna do this. But it has a beautiful cover and I am able to understand most of what is being said in a poetry. So I'm happy for myself. I think I've grown as a poetry reader. I have mocks today so I'm probably not going to be able to read a lot. Even though I have to post this, upload this video tomorrow. So I don't know how this is going to go. But I'm going to go to my mocks. Bye bye. Hi, I came back from my mocks. I am back home and I, of course, went straight to reading I'm Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter. I'm at page 183 and I'm struggling a little bit to understand what is happening. We have, um, she, a lot of things happened and I don't really know, but she's just trying to explain what has happened to her and how she feels and how her mental health is. Spoiler, it's not good. I'm guessing that this is going to be a turning point. Maybe it's not Connor. Maybe it's the doctor. Um, Connor, I don't like him. What can I say? He was already like very meh to me, but now I already, I, I don't like him. I really don't like him. I'm struggling to understand what is happening. I'm also very cold because I'm more only with this and it's like 15 degrees and it's very cold yay i hate the cold <laughs> i i love it but like no one is like 13 degrees you know so yes i'm going to continue to read this i still have about a hundred pages so maybe not finish it but maybe just get into page just read 50 more pages today i think i'll be happy with that also my sister just got me this sticker it's freaking Zuko! I love this. I'm gonna go back to reading and yeah. About this one, all that I did was reading on the bus, so. I'm angry. I'm freaking angry. Um, I finally understood what, what just happened. Um, no one tell me about the trigger warning.